A group of disadvantaged young women has today been treated to a rare day of pampering, two of them going to the hairdresser for the first time. They were also given advice by Miss Universe Australia, Cheryl Biggs, and a former TV model who's turned her focus to helping the disadvantaged. Karen Huff joined them. Elise May knows professional hair and makeup well, and today she shared the experience with teenagers like Shannon Oliver, who, due to difficult backgrounds, haven't had the chance. Yeah, it's been fun. It's part of her push to help those who can't live at home feel better, prepare for job interviews and have a sense of belonging. The girls came from as far away as Mildura and Wangaratta to be coached by the experts. So it's really, really subtle, really soft. And there was a couple of girls that said they've never been to a salon before. It's kind of fun, you know, we get to have fun but learn something at the same time. Elise is now on a drive for volunteers to help with foster or respite care. Even for an hour every week can build resilience in that child and that can make the difference between them being on the streets and having a really successful life. The event's also designed to bring focus to the quality of residential care in this state. The topic of investigation of a panel due to release its findings this week to the Bailiu government, which named child welfare as a key priority. Other days are planned with themes including football, fashion and food. They don't feel like they can fit into society, so all this is very important and to make them realise that they can achieve whatever they want, whatever the dream is. Karen Huff, Nine News.